got a statement, she do the left, she's sick of forgiveness. She is from death, and she wanna know when you start up a business. My daddy was not around, my mama was not around. I watch him climb to the top of the pole, and make it slide and down. I make him rain in this bitch, I make him snow in this bitch. She tryna get out of the leaks. Brianna Marie, the cut crease queen, yeah. She got what you need. To me, you girl Brianna Marie. This was supposed to be a Wednesday's video, but I had to record it today on Wednesday because life, okay? Just get sick. So just know that my recording days are Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Upload days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I did give y'all something Monday, but it was just a short length tutorial on that brown look that I did live. And today I'm going to give you a beautiful outlook. Um, I tried. I don't even know what I did. I just did something and this is how it turned out. Um, and I also went ahead and tried the new Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I didn't want to give a full review, but not today because it is like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I am not going to give a, I'm not going to give a full review on this until um, probably Saturday I give a full review or whenever I wear it. And I am going to actually wear the whole foundation um, instead of just putting half of it on my face like when I do my concealer method. Anywho. The skin is looking flawless. However, this eye is the this what took me the longest. However, I want y'all to get into this look. Um, I never wear earrings. Like I don't know. It's just I need to go get me some. Okay, it's just broke. I need to go get me some earrings. It's giving everything more like that look right there. Let's pop it. And these are my 28 millimeter lashes. I did cut them a lot on the ends to give it a more shorter lash length. But yeah, please keep on watching because I want y'all to see this beautiful look. If y'all want a shorter version, let me know because this might be short because I might just speed it up. Um, but yeah, this is a look. So please stay tuned and I'm going to catch y'all on the outro. I am so excited because we have some new products to try today, y'all, and I'm so thirsty. Right now, my brows are molded down to the point where they're stuck to my face, and all I have to do is basically pat them down. Um, so I got this new Ultra HD setting powder. It's to go with the makeup tutorial that we're about to do today, well, the make the foundation review that we're about to do today. Um, but I heard this is really good too, so. I wanted a new powder and I got the shade Banana. Oh, luxury, okay. So this is how it comes in the box. The Makeup Forever HD box. If y'all don't know of Makeup Forever, it's an OD. But it's really good. Oh, snap. They got it where, like, if I want to like, press it under the... Oh, right. Okay, okay, I'm going to use this. Okay, I like that. This is the actual powder, the HD setting powder. It looks kind of similar to the um, Sasha Buttercup setting powder, but it's actually not, um, the label is not on the actual package in the front, it's on top of it. I don't need that much, just a little bit. It's honestly, I don't know, I kind of don't like how the packaging is. Let me put this down because I'm just talking about how to just go everywhere. I don't like how the packaging is um because when I'm trying to like push the powder out I still gotta close this down so when the powder is not all the way used I still gotta put my top on it so I'm guessing put a little powder as you go so therefore you can use all the powder and then put the top back on I guess maybe that's how it goes but um I'm about to put this on with my damp beauty blender I'm gonna tap this in. It feels smooth. It actually feels pretty smooth. So, let's tap it into our brows, making sure we get all of it coated. 
okay so I did go ahead and also apply my Too Faced lip injection um lip gloss on and this is plump y'all I want some more lip injection I feel like I'm gonna wait till my birthday though because Today, we're going to use these L'Oreal Stylus Definer Pencils. I love these pencils, <clears throat> and I stay using them. Um, that's because I don't want to use any more of my products either, so I've got them turn it to us. That's really good, y'all. And this face is about to be slayed today. Period. So, I'm actually going to speed this up because we don't really need to see this. My eyebrows are filled in. What I'm about to do... What I'm about to do is I'm about to take my 252S MAC brush. I'm about to take my eyeshadow base, y'all. Um, they're almost done making the eyeshadow bases. I'm done with the palettes. I just got to get them out, y'all. I just got to get them out. So I'm about to take this and I'm about to carve out my... I want the shadow to pop and I might use some of my shadows today too when it comes to this look. I'm gonna take my 142 silver brush. Pack. And I'll leave this area open because I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to actually um go ahead in the front and take a concealer that's like kind of my skin tone fine. And I'll kind of mix it with a lighter concealer just to kind of balance it out. I just want my brow bone area to be boom. So we're going to speed this up. Let's see, I know I look crazy. I know I look crazy right now, but give me a second. I'm going to take Fine from LA Girl 10 Sin. So this is how they coming out. I'm gonna do the top and I'm gonna come right back with them done. Look, this is how they came out. I always go to the side. What I'm about to do is I'm about to add my base. I do not know what shadow I'm gonna do, but I, I, can see. I always add a lot of the base. This could be entirely too damn much. Now that my base is on, I'm going to go gather up some palettes. I'm going to come back and we're going to create a look. I don't know what look, but we're going to create a look. I don't know. I just need some energy, y'all. Like, some kind of energy. But, I can't show y'all my palette. Like, but I can't wait to show y'all my actual palette. Colors right here. It's giving me lights. I want to do that, y'all feel really creative today so we're gonna start in the front of the lid and I'm definitely going to start with a dark I want to build it in three sections y'all have seen this green before on my palette but I'm adding this green they're not gonna be circle either I'm adding this beautiful green in my palette y'all and I want to show you exactly how it looks it looks just like this Take this green and I'm going to go ahead and go in with my um, 762 small angle brush from Bedellium 2. I'm just going to take this um, Melissa palette time shoebies place and we're going to just add that burgundy right there and I'm going to just drag this all the way out. And then I am kind of like blending and merging this into the green. Oh, 
Yes. Come on, Kai. Come on. Come on, Kai. You see that? I love to use the Murphy 506 brushes. I have so many of these brushes, y'all. It's crazy. How I'm taking my carnival palette, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this green called Forest right here. And I might mix it with a little bit of Tropics. And right now, it's all about blending. You want to blend, but you're still going to go ahead and you're going to take these colors. I just can't get no easy, I know you need it. Okay, I'm going with this orange on my palette and the color next to it. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, I have the name swap for my colors, but I don't want to tell y'all just yet. I swear, I just want to hold on. Let it flow. It's going to flow. And then whatever you do, make sure you go inside always. And make sure you blend in everything um not too far not too high either it's like halfway that's the thing y'all it's just a blending i swear so i am going to go ahead and go in with the bloom from this palette this is and then by the way i'm sorry i don't know if i did mention this is a carnival and that's the only thing but like showing it this is the carnival palette i'm gonna go with bloom right there and we're gonna add this with a fresh five or six brush on top of this i'm keeping low i'm keeping low i'm staying low color combo um, and I, sometimes I get inspiration sometimes I, I come up I used to like like I said back in the day I was just come up with color combos com combos like so easy but I feel like I lost creativeness so it just like it's not flowing like right now I'll just be feeling stuck so I'm guessing like uh, find inspiration for colors until I get that momentum of creative creativeness back girl slow slow down, slow down. okay so now that we got it mapped out it looks good y'all see that line right there that's because we created a line but it wasn't blended out so don't worry about that so now we are and it already looks cut so now we're about to go ahead and we're about to add the second layer well, the third technically, so we're going to add the third layer. So in the front right here, I'm going to add light green. I'll take a small, small brush. I want to take this brush right here. This is a 221 from the Smack. And I'm going to take this green out of my palette. This is beautiful lime green out of my palette. And I want to take this and I want to put that right in the front. So we're just going to... Take that right on top. And I'm just basically putting that only in the front. And it's okay to overlap your shadows for right now. For right now, it's fine because you're going to go back in once everything is blended. You always, always go back in. Yeah, I know sometimes y'all can be like discouraged because it's not coming out right, but I'm telling you, keep going. That's how I, be, I felt deep inside. Like, keep going. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take yellow. I'm gonna take this like orange yellow, like sun. I got two yellows. I got like a baby, I mean, I got a banana. I got this very bright banana yellow. And then I have this um, orange yellow color it's like orangey but it's kind of yellowy at the same time but it's, it looks orange to me like a sun almost okay 
that's how it looks because I'm trying to describe it but it's like a sun so you just go going ahead and kind of diffusing this with this brush right here this is a 514 brush and I'm going to diffuse this stop right there but that yellow is oh my god these colors is just giving me everything like you create this in my palette y'all y'all create this look at my palette um honestly i have the same same exact colors um i don't know why i didn't use those but i must have been too much um another 506 brush and i'm going to take this beautiful pink in my palette y'all beautiful and we are going to witness so this is a lighter pink right here show this is a lighter pink in my palette and I want to mix it with that because I don't want it to be like the same I did want some of that um, to show, so I'm just, so I'm just staying low. I'm glad I did this instead of something like simple because I love getting out of my comfort zone to try new things. So now that that's done, you have all your brushes that you added everything with. I am going to go ahead and I am going to go back in and add all of the colors to this uh, this cut. So this is what I got. So I'm about to cut this, okay? And I decided to add a yellow line. I'm sorry. I'll cut my crease with Vaseline. Um, now I gotta take the Vaseline off and then I'm going to add this yellow liner. I was gonna add like three colors. I still might just wipe the Vaseline off. Now I'm about to add 
um, each of these colors. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, Suva 6020 brush, I mean 620 brush. And so I'm going to add the other colors, but I'm going to do this out of camera just to save some memory. I'm going to go back, I mean I'm going to add it on this side and then we're going to come back and kind of like blend all of these colors into each other. So in order to blend these colors together, I'm just taking that blue and I'm kind of going into it with the green. So just like that. Use the white out of this Frank Lisa, this Frank Lisa palette, this white right there. This is the concoction that I came up with. I don't know, but this is it. And I want to show you exactly what I did. So. I mean, make up addiction pigment. I just went ahead and shaved my mustache. Look at this peach fuzz, y'all. Ew, so I moisturized with Fenty moisturizer and then I prime my pore area with Benefit Poreless Primer. I want to try this foundation. I can't give a full review on it because it is 12 o'clock in the morning, y'all. 
if it's 12 o'clock in the morning so I can't give a full detailed review on this um this is the HD skin I got the shade 4N68 and I want to just put it on to give you my first initial thoughts of it um but I will be doing a wet test and everything like that once I um come back and try it I really wanted to do it today but this outlet took so much of my time so I'm just going to try this y'all and I want to see what it's giving because everybody keeps talking about it um this is how the packaging looks I like it I really like it I love the nude on the packaging like the aesthetic is really nice I wish that um we had I wish that it was all the same if you get what I'm saying because I like the lighter tone news on a cap so I wish I I wish all of them was the same that's just me I wish it was they was all the same and I also wish they had a color in between um 4 and 68 because the color combinations that I was trying between, like, between there, um, and this was the closest one. I just feel like I wish it was a pinch of something, like, a, another color to combine to make the perfect match. Um, but it's just not always, it's just never a perfect match. It's always, you either have to get two or just one and just finesse it. But this one, I got this one. Cause the other one was way too dark it comes with a pump y'all and we about to put this on because this outlook is giving hd skin is like running so it's, it's liquidy but not too liquidy it got a little thickness to it And this is just basically adding my contour area. I don't do full face anymore with foundation. Um, but I will be doing it in the wear test when I review it fully. But I just don't do it anymore. I just feel like there's no purpose. Put this a little high today. My cheek. You gotta shake it up. Shake it up. But yeah, I feel like this is a little too like orange. If I might say. You know more warm. That's why I like NARS because NARS um has wide ranges and then the colors like cow. Like <sighs> their colors is just bomb to me. It's looking for coverage. I think it's a medium to for coverage. Yeah, so honestly, my like the color match. I like how smooth it is. Like it's really smooth, y'all. I like how it has my face looking. I know I only put it in the areas like down below, right here, right here. But honestly, I can't say I'm loving it. It did kind of oxidize, so. I'm kind of happy about that. It's not so orange like how it is when they come out the bottle. I took literally two pumps to do my face. I to add the concealer. And you already know what concealer I, I use. Um, I want to speed this process up because the face really, it's really the same thing. So I'm going to speed this up and yeah. I'm gonna set with my Zamp Beauty Blender. Just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and put Sasha Buttercup on the forehead and also the chin. Let's finish the rest of the face. Hold up. Let's finish the rest of the face. So I have something new. This is the Aura Face and Body Powder, no powder. Um, I use powders or foundation powders to set my whole face y'all so I took a picture of the packaging before it got ruined because it was going to get ruined well the Dior signs were going to get ruined because it has these little um, Dior prints right here 
so I had to take a picture anyways this goes with the foundation that I have but this goes with the Dior foundation I didn't know that they had powder and I searched it and somebody was using it and I'm like this powder looks so good that looks so good on this person so I'm just going to um apply this on let me hold on to y'all one second this is really smooth I love the um Dior backstage foundation this is really bomb my favorite one of my favorites finish the rest of the face so now I was gonna get two because I was gonna get one that's like a little darker than this one or one shade darker one or two shades darker but mm, we're gonna take take 460 from Ri Ri Rihanna's Fenty collection this is the um, powder like this and I'm just going to warm my cheeks up Yeah, I just feel like that powder just did that. Even though that just warmed my face up, but this powder, I see it. Yes, I'm liking this face combo. The face is basically completed besides under the eyes. So under the eyes, um, I'm just trying to see what I'm going to do. Like, mm, let's see. I don't even know if I want to put a color under the eye or if I just want to put black or if I want to put a color. So we're going to put this orange color under the eye. I think it's called Hello Mustard. It's a mustard paint. So we're going to put this under the eye. This color, oh, I'm going to put this color called Raver from P. Louise Paints under the eye. And let's see what I'm going to blend this out with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add more. I'm coming back when it's time to add the blush. So I'm gonna take a burnt pepper, y'all, for blush choice today. I'm going to dust all of this this powder off, and I'm actually going to come back when it's time to. I like it. I'm definitely putting some highlight on. Wait a while. Simmer brown nail pencil. Simmer brown nail pound. Whatever this pencil is, girl. This is Cindy Nudes. I think from. I want P. Louise. It is semi new. Sorry, this from Peaches and Cream. It's pretty. It's actually really pretty. Uh, I just put a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add Tip Beats gloss in the center. And then I'm gonna add sweet, sweet mouth. Um, just right here. Um, just to give that juicy look. Alright, so for highlighter, I'm going in with um 
actually all three I'm gonna go in with is this highlighter from Pat McGrath I hate applying my highlight like what the, what the fuck am I doing the way I just applied it well maybe I just don't like this highlighter um I like loose highlighter lighters Okay, y'all. I need some down my nose. And yeah, y'all, this look came out really big. I really like it. And I'm glad I set up to do it. I gotta put my ponytail on with a neck and put some earrings on. And I'm gonna come right back. Thank you all so much for tuning into this tutorial. I know y'all enjoy it. I ain't even got a hope or, you know, wish that y'all enjoy i know y'all enjoy it um but please comment down below have y'all ever tried the new makeup forever hd skin foundation if so let me know i do have um a lot more new items that i need to be trying out and i am super excited to be trying it okay um it's just my timing i love you guys and i hope y'all have a great great day today don't forget don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you down on my next tutorial.